A Burlington neighborhood less than 10 miles from Elon's campus is seeing its streets taken over by gentrification. Our Naya Ping City has more on what that means and what exactly is going on. Chasing ice cream trucks, riding bikes, and walking to her aunt's house. This was the life of Shirley Shaw, a longtime resident of East Burlington's Morgantown neighborhood. When I was growing up, uh, the neighborhood was a good neighborhood because it was all family here. But like I said, you got a lot of rentals over here now, and it's been a lot of racket over here, I just say. In recent years, Shaw says she has noticed gentrification, the high development in older, poor neighborhoods, take over her street. There are more houses for rent and new homes being built in her backyard. Since I'm here, I just want to stay here, and it was my parents' property, and I really want to keep it as long as I can. The, the precious neighborhoods that used to be there and be so cohesive no longer exist. Just across the street from Shaw, former mayoral candidate and Elon alumna, Donna Van Hook grew up in Morgantown too. She says she has seen the neighborhood decline in recent years, with gentrification and problems ignored by city government. East Burlington residents are also plagued by pollution from the defunct Western Electric Plant, which according to state records houses high levels of dangerous chemicals. There's a lot of talk about East Burlington, but not a lot of action, as you can see. Shaw says she is not going to sell to the developers around Morgantown. She has two simple questions for the city of Burlington. Why do you want to take us out of our neighborhood, you know, that we grew up in? What are you going to do to beautify Morgantown? Naya Pinksity, Elon Local News. To read more about this story, including a response from Mayor of Burlington, Ian Baltudis, pick up a copy of The Pendulum this Wednesday.